It's all eyes on Apple this morning. CEO Steve Jobs, who has battled serious health issues for years, says he is taking another medical leave. He, of course, survived cancer in 2004 and a liver transplant in 2009. This morning, a number of investors are wondering about not just his future, but also the future of Apple. So joining us is financial expert Carmen Juan Ulrich. Good to have you back Good with us morning, this morning. Thanks. And when you see his most recent appearance, I believe, was in October, he's so frail, almost emaciated. Anyone who has watched someone go through a health issue knows how delicate he looks. Yes. So it wasn't necessarily a huge surprise that he needs to take a little time off for health reasons. Not too much of a surprise, but what was a bit of a surprise, what was in the announcement. So this was a very short six sentence email to his staff announcing another medical leave. Now this is his third leave, of course, since 2004, but what he didn't say is getting more attention. This time he didn't say when he's coming back. Right. He just said, I hope And he to used come the back. word hope instead of will, which he had used in the past. Exactly. So a lot of focus on that. And then of course that begs the question for a lot of people who will take over because Steve Jobs Jobs and Apple are so tied together, but no one can run a company forever. So one right. would think that Apple has been preparing for this for some time. He has been preparing. And of course, he sent out his COO, the chief operating officer, Tim Cook, who's seen as his successor. But there are some concerns, even though the last leave of absence that Steve Jobs took, the, the stock of Apple went up 65 percent in six months. And that was under Cook, right? Mm -hmm. But this time they're wondering, listen, Steve Jobs runs the whole company. Tim Cook is the operations retail guy. What about the creative end? What about the innovation? That's what Tim Cook doesn't do. And so folks are saying it's going to take a lot more than one person to run this company. But it also takes more than one person to innovate if we look on the positive side. I mean, I mean, so much of this is Steve Jobs, but there's an entire company, an entire team, and they innovate not just for Apple, but they push the industry. So. I mean, is there still enough there without Steve Jobs to keep that momentum going? That's going to be the question. And, and we can see down the pipeline for the next couple of years, things look really good. We just saw the huge deal with Verizon with the new iPhone. That's going to be millions and millions of phones going to be sold this year. The iPad 2 is coming out in the spring. Mm -hmm. We also have the new operating system for the Mac, the Lion, coming out at the end of the year. So there's a lot of things in the pipeline that are going to keep them in the lead in terms of innovation. But the question is, and the blogs are afire last night about what after two or three years, what then? Are they going to be leaders or are they going to be followers? And that's what likely a lot of other tech companies are looking at now. This could be their opportunity. Exactly. The sector is hot. I know where you look at it. Plenty of eyes on it. Very. Carmen, thanks. Good to have you here. Thank you.